This week I launched a new partnership between Belfast City Council and the Probation Service. Through the purchase of specialist equipment, Council staff will work with young offenders through the Probation Service who will assist Council to remove unsightly graffiti around the city. This gives the opportunity for young offenders to make a positive contribution to the city while serving their community order. Last Friday I had the pleasure of attending the official opening of the new Computer Science Building at Queen's University. This building on the Malone Road is notable for the exterior coloured glass panes, which I am told signifies digital code. The inside of the building is very impressive with plenty of breakout areas for collaborative working, which is typical of companies now in the digital sector. I went on to launch new public artwork at Uterp Street off the Donegal Road, commemorating events in 1917 during the First World War. This is one of a number of panels commemorating events during the First World War from 1914 to 1918 and I must commend the Greater Village Regeneration Trust, the Housing Executive and Shared History Workshop for the work they have done in creating these informative panels. This week I held a reception in my parlour for the very Reverend John Mann who announced recently that he would be leaving his post as the Dean of Belfast at St Anne's Cathedral. This was an opportunity for the City Council to show our appreciation to Dean Mann for his six years of service as the Dean of Belfast. We expressed our best wishes to him and his wife Helen as they will be moving to a new post in Dorset, England. I enjoyed a visit to the Salvation Army's Centenary House in Victoria Street this week which provides support services and accommodation for homeless people in our city. This is important work in helping people to gain stability in their life and move towards independent living. It was very informative for me to talk to the staff and to residents who appreciated the services provided. I also appreciated the opportunity to visit the premises of Cancer Lifeline in Alliance Avenue in North Belfast. This centre provides personal support and therapies for people facing a diagnosis of cancer from the Greater North Belfast area, from the Shankill to Glengormley. They greatly appreciate that Belfast City Council is providing a grant of £650,000 to enable them to expand their premises and their services. It was like a journey back in time, literally on Thursday, to attend a photo call at the Europa Bus Centre marking the 50th anniversary of Ulster Bus. Among the events I attended last weekend was the official start of the annual Hospice Walk in the grounds of Belfast Castle, attending along with local celebrity May McFetridge. I went on to visit Ballysillan Gymnastics Club at Ballysillan Leisure Centre. It was a pleasure to present the club with their Gold Club Mark Award and to see the new gymnastic mats purchased for the club by GLL. And I enjoyed attending the Ugadi New Year celebrations held at City Hall, observed by members of the Indian community from the states of Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Telangana.